Hello, my name is Richard Henry Perry II, and I am a full stack Robin developer. I was born in Berlin, Germany, under military uh, parents, and I have currently have a family of four. My wife there in the middle, that is me and my wife. And then on the pictures around is my full family. I have two daughters, one five, one eight, Malia and Janae. And I am also a US veteran, US Air Force veteran. My passions and hobbies is soccer, video games, and music. If you know me, then you'll see that I'll always have either music playing or I'll always have headphones in or somewhere around me. And if you if you know me a little bit more, I'm very big in video games. My main platform that I like to play on is PlayStation. And I do play soccer for the most part, but due to COVID, not able to get out there on the field as much nowadays. I always served inside the United States Air Force between 2010 to 2015. I was a aviation resource manager and I was stationed over in Omaha, Nebraska at Offutt Air Force Base. As you see, those are a couple of my coins that I received throughout the years inside the service and outside. And a few others that I received uh, from others. My current career job experience is, uh, has expanded throughout the years. I worked for the Transportation of Security Administration after the military as a uh, transportation security officer, screening at the airports and making sure that no bombs or anything of danger could come to the flight, the traveling public. Uh, my current job is a office admin assistant over at the National Guard Bureau with the Department of Army. And I am basically just a liaison and a secure, uh, security access branches uh, throughout the building. Why I chose software development? Well, I needed a new career change and I do have a strong interest in computer languages along with computer science. And I just wanted to get a, a better experience along with a new challenge since I've been with admin for majority of my uh, career. So my capstone project is actually called Perry's Paracord Palace. I made it primarily due to COVID and me not being able to reach out to my local friends and getting out there on the streets and trying to sell them. So better, better yet, why not sell them online? And so I've created an app here. Uh, it's still in the making, but there we go. So as you see, this is going to be our homepage. If we were to log in here, we will see our dashboard. And with our dashboard, we have our links over here on the side explaining uh, the history of what you've ordered, saved items that you wanted to get, but wanted to get at a later time. And then also what is exactly inside the shopping cart now. I do have a About Us, a shop, along with uh, photos and pricing for everything. So if you were to add one of the yellow and white, and then also wanted a kid's one. Uh, all these care cords are made by myself, handmade, so I do take time into putting 
in the design and the colors. Uh, but if you go to your shopping cart, you'll be able to see everything that you picked up. And then if you wanted to add one more to each one or take away. And for shipping, shipping costs. And then if you wanted to remove. And then check out. So. A couple future enhancements uh, with my application is that I would like for it to go onto a mobile platform uh, with Apple, iOS, Android, Windows, and any other platforms that's available. Also make a, a wider variety of website to be able to have the user actually customize what exactly they would like in, in their bracelet or how they would like their bracelet to be uh, made or braided in a sense. Along with adding a history and a few more uh, profile picture and a couple of the technologies that I use within my app is Eclipse, Visi uh, Visual Studio Code. I used React for my front end and a Spring Maven back end, along with Redux within my front end to kind of give it placing. I use MySQL for uh, the database to where I'll be able to make sure it's taking in the correct data. And uh, HTML, CSS, all of that is within my front end. And yeah. So here is my contact info. Again, thank you for, for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any of my uh, respective links there, my LinkedIn, my GitHub. And there's no other questions. I thank you for your time and you have a good day.